your Storm Team AccuWeather forecast on demand. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik with your week ending forecast. Apropos for Flag Day, thank you very much, News 12 viewer Frank Falkowski from McDonald, Tennessee, for a view of the American flag and a hummingbird caught in mid flight stopping by for a snack. If you've got pictures to contribute, we'd love to see them and show them. You can see them at our social media pages. You can email them to us or you can go to our website, wdef.com slash photos to submit yours and see what everybody else has been submitting for the picture of the day. We do not have much going on at this point. We've got a weak cold front sitting right back to our north and that is going to be dropping through the area tomorrow, but there's hardly any moisture on either side of the front and high pressure bracketing this front is basically keeping this thing very weak. So there's doubtful anything that's going to be going on for us outside of a few clouds. Storm system rolling parallel to the east coast and as a word of caution, if you're planning a trip anytime soon down toward the Gulf of Mexico, Mexico, a new storm system making its way up and along the eastern coast of Mexico. About a 50% chance of this developing into something stronger in the next several days, and this could be impacting the southern Texas coast. So if you're planning a trip anywhere, say south and west of Houston, Corpus Christi down toward Brownsville, I would keep a very close eye on this system to make certain you don't have to turn right back around and get back out of the area. Dad's Day coming up on Sunday, and things are going to be steamy around here with heat indexes possible as we go toward the triple digits in the next few days. Updates on your forecast, WDEF.com slash weather. And join us for more details on your forecast tonight on News 12.